hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your resident brown skin girl back again with another video so today i just thought i'd do a quick haul of the things that i bought last week um in my previous vlog i did show that i went to Discam and i went to pep home but i never actually got around to showing you guys what i got um so yeah i just thought i'd do a quick video on what i got also if you haven't seen that video and this is your first contact with me welcome when you're done with this please do go ahead and check out the other content that i've got on my channel so yeah guys i think i'll start with the things that i got at Discam. didn't get much at Discam, but i'm just doing Discam because i'm just doing Discam. but the focus is actually pep home guys pep home a lot of people will be scared here a lot of people will be scared a lot of people will be scared here. A lot of people will be scared. And I'll name them. Start with this came. So at this came, I've got this mask. It's this L'Oreal Pure Clay Blemish Rescue Mask. I've got a few um, marks left over from pimples that I had. So because the first mask that I've been using, this is like a tongue twister. Twister. Wow, English. Anyway, the first mask that i have from l'oreal it's a purifying and mattifying one i think i have shown it on the on the channel before i really like it i, I like how my skin feels afterwards so i decided to get another one these retail for 160 so yeah i got myself this mask hopefully it will rescue these blemishes that i have got that i also got oh these this conditioner and um shampoo the organics one i have used these in the past it was on special i think it generally is it is like 69 rand for one and i think 90 or 100 for both of them so because i just took out the braids that i had oh honey the ghetto so I took those out and I washed my hair. I actually have already used these. I used these today when I was washing my hair. So I got these as well. Uh, what else did I get at this camp? Oh yeah, and I just, I mean, it's nothing. I just got this um, detail hand wash. Because you know, <laughs> we might be going to level 3, but we still sanitizing and washing those hands. So yeah. That's what I got at Discam. Now that that's done, the star of the show can come in. Please give Pip Home a round of applause. Okay, guys, I love Pip Home. Okay, first, disclaimer, I like homeware. I don't always get it, but when I see it, I'm like, oh, this is cute, you know. So Pip Home, Pip Home is like super affordable and their things are really nice. So every single time I go to the mall and I walk in there, trust and believe, I always walk out to something. So this time around, I got a few items that I'm really excited to show you guys. A lot of people will be scared here. Okay, so the first item is this cute little what's its official name metal cutlery basket so i've got a few um large cutlery items that i've been keeping in the drawer but i feel like they don't really belong there so i got this at pep home guys it's understated super simple but it's so cute this was 35 rand can't wait to use it i also got this bowl oh my gosh guys it's so cute it's like matte on the outside and then shiny on the inside i just love it i don't know i can see a salad in here you know so yeah this one it was originally 59.99 and i got this for 39.99 i got two of these identical ones then um if you follow me on instagram you would have seen that i think the week before last week i also went to pep home and i got five mugs gorgeous gorgeous mugs you should totally follow me on instagram ali underscore nolu so um this time i came across this gorgeous one 
guys how cute and it's huge we love it so this one was 16.99 i love her okay then i also got this young bow situation or whatever look at this guys isn't this beautiful this was i think 34.99 so i got this cute bowl and then i got the sister bowl isn't she cute love it yeah so these were 34.99 oh yeah yeah uh, these were 34 and 99 at Kip Home. So, yeah, like I'm so excited. I love Kip Home. Oh, God. So, that we're done. So, now that we're done with the haul, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you saw some things that uh, you felt you could maybe get for yourself at Pip Home or if you want to try those those L'Oreal moths from Diskim. Yeah, man. And then I just wanted to have a quick chat with you guys about something that's been high key bothering me and I finally think I'm ready to do something about it. Okay guys, so it's about to get deep. Okay, it's not about to get deep. But yeah guys, so over the past couple of months, your girl has just been living her best life, eating whatever came in front of her eyes. Yes, I'm a dietitian. Yes, I know the nutritional implications of all the bad things I've been putting into my system but the girl was living her life she didn't care but now I've honestly gained so much weight like it's adding it's a mess everything is messed up like I'm not okay with it <laughs> and I think it's hitting me more now that I'm seeing all these people but people are jogging people are eating clean people are losing weight ask me how you know like it's deep it's deep and i'm just like more than just aesthetics i also feel like i'm not doing my health any favors but also not fitting into my clothes having to get bigger sizes feeling uncomfortable or when i'm taking a picture and it comes at the wrong angle girl and I catch my double chin, I'm like, scary! Oh, scary! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, guys, I think I'm, I'm finally ready to do something about it. And I think as soon as I get started, I will document the journey. Listen, I'm not going to be skinny. I've never been skinny, but I've been healthy. And then I've been at a healthy weight. And basically, that's just where I want to take it back. So I'm just letting you guys know that um, I'm really, really, really wanting to commit to this. I really want to get started. And maybe me putting it on this platform forces me to have some sort of accountability, you know. On some hour, what I know, didn't you say? So I know, are you eating because you say, you know? So, um, yeah. It's a journey that I think we're going to get started with all together. I want to start eating clean. I want to control my portions. I want to have some physical activity. I want to do, not have, I want to do some physical activity. And yeah, like, I'm committed to the mission, man. Been seeing a couple of challenges circulating on YouTube that I think, I think I might try to just to kick start things i might try to do 